it's got to be completely dry and even that little bit of wetness right there will mess our epoxy job up. You're literally the cutest things on planet Earth. We got some food for you. And you turkeys. Boom. You can see though the size difference. No tail tilapia. All our filtration stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. The lighting is beautiful right now. Like, let's do a little photo shoot real quick with the lighting. They are so adorable. How did I get these things? I'll show you now. Enjoy today's video. Boom. We got uh, more baby ducklings. One of my buddies dropped off some baby ducklings, which I'll show you them in just a second. You know, we've pretty much grown all the ducks out there by the duck pond. Inside this patio right here, at the front door of my house, they all grow up in here until they're big enough to get out there. Boom, bowl goes right there. Heat lamp goes right there. Lamp is on, and that is as simple as it gets for ducks. They're not hard to take care of, but they do. They do poop a lot when they're baby duckling. Just redoing the shavings is really the biggest job. I do need to fill this up with water. Just like that, that is filled up. Now, let's go get our baby ducklings. Hey, little bunnies. So I've redone this water like five times already. They've been in here overnight, just because I didn't have anything set up last night. But I need both of you. Come here. Look at how tiny. You're literally the cutest things on planet Earth. Here you go. I'll put one in the water. You never swam before. I just realized that they've never had a water bowl like this. They can actually swim around in there. Unfortunately, this brings back memories of Mumble, our old Muscovy duck that we raised up since it was the size of that. Got eaten by a coyote a couple months ago. Um, that thing had the most personality ever. And he used to swim in this little water bowl in here. So both ducks are good. So darn cute. And we don't have names. Drop some names down in the comments down below what we should name our new little ducklings that we will grow up to then go out here. With all of these, we have raised many in our past. Those are ibises, but we have raised many Tekken ducks. That's what those ducks are right there. Many of those in our past. There's our little mallard. We raised this little girl, and she was smaller than those other two. I drove her back from Tampa on my lap in the car, and she was like this big. I got a lot of rescued animals out here. Speaking about animals, it's time to feed them all. Oh my god, Kevin. Kevin. And they all swarm. Ugh, big old scoop for the goats. Open this up and see how much we got left. And we got like nothing, which is normal. There's always no big food. Big old scoop for you guys. Hello, everyone. Turkey. So aggressive. We're gonna finish off all the food in here. We got some food for you. And you turkeys. Boom. Big old mama goat's coming out. She gets so happy to see me every time. Lady May. And Mango, look who's out. Big boy's out, huh? Full bowls for you guys today. Mango's eating up, Lady May's eating up. I gotta put some more water, cause as of today, that thing is drained. Both of them are eating, water is going, filling up. We're good over here, goats got water, they're all eating. Good over there, all my pigs are face down in the dirt. I'm actually working on building something to where the animals won't have to eat out of the dirt. They are pigs, so they're eating out of the dirt, no issue at all, obviously. I just wanna figure out a way to do it where, like a, like a let's put it this way, I've tried everything. Straight plastic tubes, PVCs, they destroy everything. So I got something else that I'm gonna try. Uh, you'll probably see it in one of my upcoming videos, but just wanted to let you know. Yeah, that water is uh, fuller than full. I gotta go turn that off. All right. Yeah, they need to eat. They're like, feed me, feed me. There's always a lot of food in here because it's only one thing I'm feeding. It's six pigs instead of everything over there. Goats, big pigs, and my eight other pigs over there. So these go quick. I need to get a bigger one of these things. Go, oh, buddies, I know. There you go. Four scoops. Boom. And your water's dry again. <laughs> Good to go over here. Same old same. Bang, bang. Fill her up over here. We got some medicated crumbles right there, a little start and grow food right there for our two ducklings that don't have names, so remember to name them. They don't like people too much yet, but I promise they'll get a lot better. Look how flipping cute. Oh, are you trying to like swim? That is the cutest thing ever. Hi, buddy. The sounds they make. You're a little peeking duck. You're gonna be out there with all your other friends here in just a couple months. Not even, these things grow really, really quickly. Hi, bud. 
You are the cutest. You have little blue eyes. Little blue eyes. You're beaut. What about you? What kind of eye? This one's even tinier. This one's so... Look at the little freaking... Look at the wings. Hi. So dang cute. I can't wait till they start swimming in that. Anyway, got new ducklings. Animals are fed. I, I actually gotta go turn that water off so it don't overflow in the hog enclosure. And then we are going to get to remodeling our backyard patio turtle pond. I've been filming so much I almost don't even know what I do every day. Vlogmas, baby! I see them eating. They don't know I'm watching. Alright, I have been cleaning up this patio for God knows how long. It's been a while just to clear the space enough so I can get this pool pond right here. It's draining water right now. But just to get that right here, because this is where I want it to be. I'll be honest with you, I don't even want that thing. Birds get into this thing left and right. I have a really bad issue with a blue heron here at my house. Very, like, extremely bad. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you've seen me throw some clips in there when I catch them. Catch them in the act of eating everything I own. Oh, if you guys haven't uh, watched the last video, we received all our filtration stuff. This is our filter right here. Look how big it is, the 20,000 right there. Let me give you a good look at it right quick. Boom, baby, massive, massive, massive filter. We're not gonna have any issues with water clarity anymore. All this here is media, and then we have valves and filter pump and UV filter, and much, much more going into this project right here. We're actually sucking it dry last night. We couldn't do the epoxy due to the fact that it's gotta be completely dry, and even that little bit of wetness right there We'll mess our epoxy job up, so we gotta put a fan on it tonight, and then tomorrow will be the day. This is gonna be worth the wait though, I promise. Like, it's gonna be the most epic thing ever. We have jets already waiting to be plugged in and pushing water circulation around, including the amount of force our filter is gonna be pumping. Anyway, back to this. We don't have as many turtles as we initially had. Who could have guessed? I already knew. Like I mentioned, we've put koi fish in the front pond like six different times every time they've been eaten, so we just completely stopped that a couple months ago. I've had some turtles get eaten out of this. I'm definitely not gonna have any issues with this because of the depth. And not many issues with this because it's, once again, deep. The bird can't really, but I've seen them sitting right here, right there, this poop on my roof, as a matter of fact. See all that stuff up there? That is all heron poop, and he sits right up here. You might ask yourself, why not just pew pew it? Uh, yeah, I can't. Um, it's a native species to Florida, completely illegal, from my knowledge at least, to kill on your property. If it was up to me, and I was allowed, it would not be here anymore, let's put it that way. He eats thousands, I'm not kidding, hundreds and thousands of fish out of this pond right here. And it is the same dang bird every single time. A blue heron is smart enough to know this is where I've been eating, this is where I'm gonna keep coming back. I've tried netting over stuff. Not only does netting look bad, but it really don't do much. I've had arowanas jump right through netting. The bird will poke the fish through the netting, pull it up, hit the netting, the fish will drop and then have a giant wound in them. The bird is the issue here. I don't mean to sound like I'm making excuses up, but I'm not kidding, we have no koi fish, we have Definitely less turtles than we initially bought. You could see though the size difference. We bought them as little babies and look how big they are now. They're getting so much bigger. I will get all the turtles that we do have into a pile here in just a second. Here's our little painted. This thing is so beautiful. Our little painted is here. Um, like I mentioned, there's not like, there's not drastically a decrease of turtles, but there is definitely less than we had. Snapping turtle. Those don't grow as quick. Let's see. Oh yeah, here's a big snapping turtle. Another snapping turtle. All three snapping turtles is a big one right here. Look at that. As a matter of fact, I wanna go get more of these soon because they get this big right here. That's what they'll turn into, these beasts right here. We got two of these big snappers in here and they are loving our new environment here. We just, you know, we remodeled this. Let's look in here right quick. Let's see if we can find something. Hello, is anyone home? Hello, hello. Oh, look it, a little African side neck. I don't wanna bug him, but he's just chilling right there. He loves to bury himself. This is gonna be filterized with the filter that runs this, so keep in mind this will be crystal clear. For now, it's just sitting there. All right, I think we got everything we need to say about this dumb bird. Their diet, too, is drastic. They eat everything. These blue herons just destroy. I have had some incidents in the past with these little pool ponds when it rains. It doesn't have an overflow, meaning like a hole like this. See that hole right there that'll pour out, and the one I have over there, so that the turtles can't just crawl out. I've learned from my experiences in the past of turtles escaping. I found one of my snapping turtles months later inside my pool camera. That was a crazy video. Bottom line is everyone learns from things and I've learned to hate blue herons. That's what I've learned from this. I can't do anything. I've called FWC. They either don't answer, throw me to voicemail, or give me no pure information on what I'm legally allowed to do. So at this point I'm just stuck 
and I just gotta keep an eye out. We have this bowl here, and I'm gonna see how many turtles we've got. So let's start with our little snapping. There's a little snapper. Yellow belly, we have lots of yellow bellies. Yellow belly, yellow belly, yellow belly. <laughs> this is so funny. Yellow belly, yellow belly. Snapping, snapping. Look at them all. It's so cute. A little painted right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I believe we were supposed to have like 16, uh, 14, 16. So we're missing like four turtles in total. Oh, the soft shell. Boom, it's got a little bit of algae on the bottom, but this is completely cleaned out. We have not completely cleaned out, the algae is still there. As you can see, it's very slippery. Got all of our, we have lots of mollies, as you know. Mollies and platies in here mixed in. And then where's our little, here is our little no-tail tilapia. We still got him, he's still growing. That guy is such a stud, my favorite. I casted him in that pond over there a while back when I was about to feed the fish. And I thought to myself, there's no way I could feed this little tiny tilapia with no tail to these fish. So I just threw him in this when the turtles were in it and he grew up in there. So today we're just gonna remodel this thing, make it look good, fill it up with some water, get the filter going again, and this will be flowing. I wish these turtles were just a little bit bigger so we could just throw them into here and they'll do, they probably would do fine in here. Those snapping turtles are just a little bit concerning, especially with the mollies, they'll just go crazy on them. I mean, it's just, it's just risky, risky business doing that. So. I, I don't think I'm gonna do that, but without further ado, let's let's remodel this thing, make it look super cool so that our turtles could have a new, fresh home. All right, so this design's gonna be a lot more simple. And when I mean a lot more simple, I mean like literally, I'm not doing the whole gravel on the bottom. As you can see, we have our a bigger pump, and then I have this rock that literally cuts that flow off. It'll cut it off and push it through that little opening. This covers that. These two will be their basking rocks right here. The flow will just come out of there, hit that corner, and distribute throughout the pond. So that is what I've done so far. I want to put these plants in here as well. So maybe that right there, we don't wanna go too close to the edge, because that's how they get out. They're very smart. Looks like grass is growing in this. I'm not even going to touch it, honestly. I have a good idea where those can go, and I'll show you that in just a second. This is good enough for now. This one plant. It's real simple. And we're just going to stack rocks right around it. And the reason for something so, so simple is because this is not permanent. Again, I know it's not the temporary like it was over there, but this is really not permanent. I want to bring these turtles and get them into here eventually. It's just something that these babies can grow up in for now, and then we can put them into here. I want to make one big cave right here, so if the bird does does happen to show up, they can hide in there. We got this big rock right here. Let's get this big rock. So now they have that cave right there and all of them could easily fit inside. Don't forget there's other caves as well. Finished product looks like a big mound of rocks just absolutely tossed together and that's part of it. Let's get to these guys to the side, fill this up with some water. These two plants right here, I have plants for. This tilapia is getting off the bank already. Remember I put a couple in here? I'm gonna set them just like this. Push them into the mud a little bit at a slant and leave them just like that. Those are gonna grow, I promise you, they'll be a lot bigger than you think and they'll just kind of spread throughout this beautiful backyard pond. We're gonna do plants all along the sides here and I hope, oh, maybe the sides will gonna get. <laughs> We'll figure it out, a cows, cows might eat that eventually. But there is gonna be a lot of plants in the middle of this pond. Look how green the grass is. All that rain came in clutch. We are putting a back on that barn as well, for those of you who are not familiar. That's the new barn. There'll be a back on it and it'll be closed in just as an overhang and provide shelter and shade for once we get those cows. Okay, whew. We have water going in. Continue the, the time lapse. Boom, all filled up. And the coolest part is about how this is all built. That's like a little underwater. This is like coming up. They can easily get up here, climb all throughout here. Oh, this is like kind of shallow. This, there's plenty of places for these turtles to just climb around and hide. And then plenty of places to swim for the fish. And if the turtles want to take a little swim, they can take one too. My GoPro just fell. That is awesome. Exactly what I was looking for. A little flow that goes this way to keep the circulation going. A little flow comes out through all these. Look at that. That's sick. It's like a little volcano. You got a good flow coming out the back there. That is just something you can't really mimic at all. What a little flow there. Worked out. 
in my favor. Exactly, exactly. If not better, actually better than I wanted it to. Gotta love when that stuff happens. After, especially after a long day like today. Let's get this GoPro rolling and these turtles in. First one going in is a big old yellow belly. There you go, my guy. Your new home, meow. And I love this too, because we can see them super easily. Y'all love the turtle videos, so if you do want to see more, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Like this video. Here comes a little painted. A little painted, beautiful, beautiful. Look at the, look at the colors. When you get big, you're gonna be so pretty. Let's do a two for one special here. Two for one, baby, boom, boom. Sinking like little rocks, meow, gone. This is our biggest one. This sucker got so big. It's crazy, buddy, crazy. There you go. Now to the snapping. Got a little snapper right here. Another snapping turtle right here. These things don't grow too fast, but they are beautiful. And then a bigger one right here. This one's growing the fastest out of all of them, that's for sure. Right, buddy? Getting big. Right to the GoPro. Oh, the GoPro fell as he was coming to it. There All right, well, just the fish to go in. Oh. Wait, we gotta put our tilapia in first. Now keep in mind this temperature is literally the same because year round a well water pump at least, I don't know if this is for all around the world, but 72 degrees here in my location, I can't say. So both waters are the same. This is our little tilapia. Tilapia with no tail. I forgot what we named him, uh, but he does have a name. So cute. See ya bud. That is just the coolest thing ever. We have a tilapia with no tail. They're gonna love this. As you can see, the snapping turtles are already clinging onto rocks. Got the painted back there. What else we got swimming around? Snapping turtle over there. There's a good flow over here that the tilapia is in right now. All the mollies in a bucket thing. Bonk, right in the water. Oh, we got a straggler over here. Look at how pretty they are. Beautiful, beautiful. That's a platy right there. So pretty. When you touch a fish, make sure to always wet, it's a cool little tip here, make sure to always wet your hand. You won't actually remove their slime coat. You should never really touch fish, but you won't remove their slime coat as much. All the fish are swimming around over there. We have the turtles, couple fish over here, but turtles all over the place. Snapping turtle right there, loving the flow. This is just an amazing, quick little DIY mini turtle pool pond. This is actually the smallest pool pond that you could buy online, at least from a little bit of water, at least from my knowledge. Boom. Boom, and almost boom. I gotta put a fan on this tonight. So that we could dry and get started tomorrow. That would probably be tomorrow's video if I upload tomorrow. Caferos, I'm trying my hardest with this vlog missing. I'm trying my hardest. That's why the videos are going up late because I'm filming the day of. It is currently 4.51 p.m. I'm gonna try to get this video live by seven or eight o'clock. Thank you all so much for watching all these videos. Vlogmas is nuts. I love, I love making videos. I'm extremely blessed to have you. Extremely blessed to have everything I have out here. This is a dream come true. And we doing it big, boys and girls. We doing it big. Thank you all so much. Wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful view right there. The pigs are loving it too. Thank you all so much for watching. That is a mini turtle pool pond remodel there. As you know, it sucks that we lost a couple of turtles, but that's nature taking its own path. Nothing to do with me. I feed them every day, water changes. Everything that needs to be done is done. I can't help a blue heron. Not even allowed to touch the blue heron, actually. Let's hope it just doesn't happen again and we've resolved the issue with FWC and this blue heron. Until next time, tomorrow, I will see your beautiful face here again. Peace out.